Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, F Sheikh Excel Master, and this is your friend Farah Sheikh. You must have read the video image which says that, believe it or not, you can let your Excel speak. That's true, my friends. Today we are going to learn how to let our Excel speak. This is an amazing function available in Excel and where you can let your Excel talk or speak whenever the value is true. This will be very handy sometime when you are making a very interactive sheet so that when the user enters or it displays some kind of a warning message, you can let the message speak also. So let us quickly learn how are we going to do that. Well, you will need to go to the developer tab and we are just going to open Visual Basic and we are going to write a very simple code and what we are going to do is that whenever we open the workbook it should say hello and it should say my name or the system name that would be much more appropriate when you share your file to somebody and he opens it so it should say hello Faraz or it should say hello Tina and uh, when the file is closed it should say as bye and when we save the file it should say as the file is saved so let me quickly show it to you how are we going to do it so my friends we are going to just open this workbook and we are going to write a very simple code and we are going to say this workbook application dot speech dot speak we are going to say hello now what about if we add the username also it will be great so if anybody opens this workbook it will say him hello Faraz or hello Tina from their system so application dot username that sounds good and we are going to say how are you going today right. that sounds good so whenever we will open the workbook it will give us this message now what happened when we save our workbook so before save we will copy this code again copy and then paste it we will say your file great ampersand and we are going to call the file name so this workbook dot name yep and saved is saved that would be great so whenever I will click on save it will speak you file let excel speak dot xlsm is saved <laughs> isn't it great my friends so now again we are going to say what about when we close our file We'll select again this workbook and we are going to say before close. Note my friends, all the code I am writing in this workbook, nothing has been written on the sheet because we are writing for this whole workbook, entire workbook. And we are going to say it here my friends, again the same code and we are going to say Put by and we are going to call the system name application I'm sorry the username the username and we are going to join the string so goodbye for our shake see you soon you file let excel speak dot xlsm is saved Excellent, my friends. So this is working perfectly fine. And we'll close the file. And now I would like to show it to you. As I close it. Goodbye, Faraz Sheikh. See you soon. And then I will open the file. Hello, Faraz Sheikh. How are you doing today? Great. Great. Now, what about if you would add a message box over here when you have saved the file? I'll just watch my friend message box save okay and once I click on save 
You file let Excel speak dot XLSM is saved. And after that, I'm getting a message box. So had in such kind of scenario where you want your Excel to speak and simultaneously display this message box. What we're going to do, my friends, is that we're just going to go end of our code and put a comma and we are going to write it as true. So by setting the value to true, the VBA compiler will continue to go through the code and speak the voice. And this is a good idea, my friends, that if you wanted to speed up the code execution. So it will not hold your code till it, the voice is not get executed. The code will simultaneously get executed while the voice is being spoken. So now let me show it to you again, my friends. You file let Excel speak dot XLSM is saved. So it will automatically allow the code to continue further without holding it to that speed level. Now let us assume that you have a value 400 and if this value exceeds more than 400 and that's your trigger point, you should not exceed that limit of 400. So you want your Excel file to prompt the user that if this value goes above 400, then he need to take some action on that one. It is very helpful, especially in the production plant or something. You have a certain production value and if it goes above a certain temperature or like that, you can set it very easily over here. So watch my friends, this time I am writing the code, this sheet one. So if this value get executed in the sheet one, then only it will work. And we are going to say this worksheet and selection change. That's where we want the selection change. And we are going to say if range A2 dot value is greater than 400, then application, we just going to paste that code, speak alert, and we are going to say it as true. And we want to simultaneously display the message box. Alert. Please check. Please check. Let us make it a little bit more meaningful. So it is going to say alert. The value has crossed above 400, the current value, and it will return the value. So now we'll close it. And let us watch 300. That's the reason why I have not placed in this. Wait. So now it is 300, 400, 450. Alert. The values coursed above 400, the current value 450. So isn't it great, my friends? This just one simple line of code will let the Excel speak. You must be wondering that how can we change the voice? Well, my friends, with this application.speak.speak method in VBA, this is a default voice. And if you would like to change the voice, then we need to add the speech object library. And we are going to see that how it is possible. So we are going to comment at this. We are going to go to Tools, References, and if you go down to Microsoft, yeah, we have it here, Microsoft.speech library. You need to select this library. C drive windows 32 speech comma dot S A P I dot D L. This is the file. You need to activate this library. Okay. So once you activate this library, we are going to do the same code, this workbook on selection, we are going to keep the same logic as well, copy. There are few changes we would like to do to the code. So you will just see that library for the speech, there should be SP voice. Uh, so this is what we are looking, special voice. So great, so SP voice, we are going to use it. We are going to say it as them. Voice as my 
speech library it is sp voice special voice and that special voice i wanted to set my voc dot voice that's what it find equals voc dot get get voices dot item and we are going to write one the one is the voice for the female voice and zero is for the male voice now there are only two voices in this library and let us see how we are going to let us speak uh, voc which is my voice library speak and we wanted to speak this message we wanted to remove this value who will comment this poll so great that's fine i have declared my speech library to special voice and that voice is equal to get this voice and the voice we wanted is for the female voice and we wanted that whenever this value goes above 400 it should give us this message so let us cross our fingers and now we have this error over here and i have forgot to set the voc voice to new special voice i hope now it should work alert the values course to about 400 the current value 445 and we are now going to change the voice to the male voice we just change the item value to zero 444 alert the values course to above 400 the current value 444 now the only drawback is my friends with this code if you add the message box it will not work out simultaneously like how we have did it in the previous example so the message box will only run after it speak out the message well in this case my friend the message box doesn't displays a uh, sync value which is as true we cannot declare it as true how we have declared it on the top because it doesn't support that and uh, the message box what we wanted to display will only display after the speech has been finished let me make this message little small say alert the current value is around 444 okay so now when i once i will change anywhere a l e r t t h e current value 444 now we got the message box but in this case which was our above case alert the values course above 400 the current value 444 it is simultaneously speaking the value as well. And before I end my video, my friends, note that my friends, you must save this file into an Excel SM format, which is Excel micro enable format. So when you go over here and click on save as, you can select macro enable workbook. So now my friends, you know how to let your Excel workbook speak. Just try it by yourself on your Excel workbook and just surprise your colleagues and friends that whenever they will open or exit the file and they will say their name and they will be really surprised at how this is possible and you know that how it is possible. So believe it or not, Excel workbook can speak. And a soft copy of this file will be kept on my Facebook group page so you can download from there. So I hope my friends you have enjoyed this video so please push a like button, share this video, subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon next to the subscribe button for the latest update. Signing off for today, your friend Farah Sheikh from Sheikh Excel Master.